steep steps. She's talking about these little ones right there. Yeah. That are just starting from where I think the water droplets come through. Mm -hmm. I just... It's interesting, all these channels. Makes you wonder if water flowed through and caused them. Yeah, it reminds me of the old Tanzanian caverns, how they had spots where they would bed up. Yeah. Right there, that is 
carve their name initials in right there. Yeah. Lights are crystals? Yeah, it's the start of them. Yeah. So that's what she was saying earlier that they didn't know any better and went through and was knocking them all down. Yeah. Did she say how long ago that did that? Mm, she, I think she did, but. Mine's like comfy. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Thankfully, it is replica. No such thing will happen today. These are just vintage-style LEDs. 
But as the farmers were putting up the lighting, they felt it didn't do the ceiling justice. They actually wanted to show it off while they were working. So one of those farmers grabbed a milking stool, another one grabbed a lampshade. They wired it to the circuit to show off all the color. So while that is not the original milking stool, it is the original lampshade. So it's still showing off all the color up there, and of course the light bulb has been changed as well. But I can't see everyone once again. Do we have any questions at all? So what is, what is yeah. the hanging orange? Any of that like roughly pattern yeah. is rust. Oh, it's rust? Yep, any of the really textured, it, it builds up like that. Yep. On the rock? Yes. Wow. Yeah. The water brings it through, comes through a shale layer, and it kind of just builds up over time. That's how it would look on our cars if we didn't have erosion on the surface. We get that sort of roughly effect. Oh. No wind or rain down here, so it likes to stack up like that. It's pretty neat. Right there. But you'll be seeing plenty of names on the walls through this section. You might have passed Corbett Road on your way here today. You might have passed Luther Farms. Maybe even other farms, depending on which way you took. So these are still families that are in the area. If you guys happen to be local at all, you might find your own name down here today. But right here on the wall, if you pass those names, is a super colorful example of what it's called tiger striping or iron striping. Those are those streaks coming down the wall. That's a really vibrant example of the color. But as you pass it, you give another tight squeeze. So just mind your hands and mind your feet.
This is stuff from where they were digging it out or making the floor. Water. This area, this was one of the main turnaround points. So people come down. The mom is super low. Good spot to take a break. If you're down here with friends, you hang out a little bit, and then you'd head back the way they came. It wasn't like they had an exit waiting here. You had to go all the way back to that sinkhole. So they get to this point. If you wanted to keep on going, you would enter the area behind me that's known as the back scratcher. Good reason. But this rock is the room known as the giant's coffin, pointing to the way we're heading. But you might be seeing names of different colors today, so any names in red, that is actually lipstick. Any annoying. name written in white, that is actually from the crystals people wrote off. Oh, sorry. Is that the one that What about the blue? Blue? Yeah. Where do you see blue at? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just asking. Did you see blue? No? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think there'd be blue down here. If anything, I'm not sure what it would be. Maybe wax from a handle or something. <laughs> Alright, but the signatures we'll be pointing out, so right up here, August 27th, 97, the first woman, Nell and Floyd Taylor, made their way down here. They were sisters. Nell Taylor also returned wrote her married name next to her signature. So that again, that was opening day to Mr. Reams' friends and family. They were some of the first people ever down here. Here's a signature right next to it, August 27th as well, or 28th. Oh, yeah. But as we go into this area right here, this is the start of the back scratch. It will get pretty narrow, so mind your heads. I'll just use a rock to jump out of the Blind man. There. Them. So, this lovely rock right above the stairs is known as the Noggin Knocker. <laughs> for good 
reason. It likes <laughs> not noggins. Mind yours as you go down the stairs. You, your noggin is in its next victim. <laughs> Side passageways, though, most will go back is about 50 to 80 feet. You're not finished much, I promise. Yeah, this is like so good. Yeah. We will see some big crystals up here in this area. Seen, 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 seen. But this will really be the last spot you're seeing a whole lot of signatures. Now, up ahead behind me, where we see those stairs right over there, there would have been a six foot wall of mud that the early tour is going to get past. This was considered the end of your tour. They had to go all the way back to where we entered. So they get to this point, turn back, and head back out. Now, in 1922, they started to dig out the caverns. In 1923, they got to this point. Those caverns broke through that mud wall that was there. They went off to the right. We see that really dark hallway. That leads you to the natural water side. They started to see a lot more crystals. They had found an entire side of the caverns no one had ever seen before. So they opened that up in 1925 as the Ohio Caverns Natural Water Tour. They closed off an entire section we just went through. We only reopened it in 2012. Only been open about 10 years now. So you're still relatively new to it. Yeah. But again, last spot, you've seen a whole lot of signatures. We do trade it out for crystal growth. So as soon as we get up the stairs here to the left, you'll start seeing a lot more crystals. It's just so dropping on me. Mm -hmm. Find your step right here on the little branch. We will separate your Power. Careful. Watch your step. Front of us, you can. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's weird. All right, so if anyone happens to be afraid of heights, do not look over this railing right here. There is a 35 foot drop. But if you want to, feel free to take a peek. Just don't hold anything over. You don't want to lose. Make sure your sunglasses are on your head. And also, don't hold anything over a camera, small children, phones, that kind of thing. <laughs> you only go down there once about every four years. It might be a while before you get anything. small right children, now. not immature people. Yeah. Not the tunnel. Feel free to it. It looks like it goes up and then down.
bucket at a time. Just imagine how tedious and monotonous Thank you. 